Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm on the North Norfolk coast in the traditional seaside resort of Hunstanton, or known to some people as Sunny Honey. I've been coming to this place since I was a kid and the best thing about Hunstanton, it hasn't changed in decades. It still has the classic fun fair, the pier, the seafront garden, an amazing beach, and also Britain's largest joke shop. But first I thought we'd start here just at the northern end of the seafront and check out Hunstanton Fun Fair. Let's go. So just starting here where the main car park is in Hunstanton actually. There's a caravan park over there. Best place to park your car here. Costs around about £4 for two hours. Right by the fish and chips. And the famous fun fair in Hunstanton called Rainbow Park. And I think it was the same merry-go-round. Love the theming out here. <laughs> that guy there, he's got, he's got no hands, he's got, he's got no face. But I've got some great childhood memories coming to Hunstanton as a kid and uh, the ghost train completely freaking me out. This is a great little fun fair though. Got some pretty good rides on here for the younger kids and the older kids. And I'm sure that slide has been there since I was a kid as well. I still think it has the old signage. Look at that, slippery dip. Wow, I remember this as a kid. <laughs> and I think some adults use kids as an excuse because we all love to go on that, don't we? I actually walked around here in the winter and it was so eerie because the park was kind of open and you can walk through because you've got access towards the beach. For a small fun fair, they've got a lot of good choice of rides on here, including which returned last year, the Helter Skelter and the, uh, the big wheel. And talking of memories as a kid, my dad would never let me go on these because I was always too young, but I think these are the original umbrellas or paratroopers that have been here for ages. The ride that makes me absolutely sick. Let me know in the comments if you're a big, if you're a big fan of this ride. It's fun for about the first two minutes and then you feel a bit sick. Can't beat some dodgems. Might be a small amusement park, but then I'll pack a lot in it. It's a seaside tradition. I've got to relieve my childhood. If you've ever been in a Hellas scale, you'll know it's quite a long walk up to the top with your mat. So I think I get two rides. So I get two rides for four pounds something. Ah, oh, as a kid, I remember the views you get up at the top of the Hellas scale. Look at that. We are doing all right, mate. All right, cheers. We. <laughs> All right, yeah, I know. I did that for the video because I uh, originally tried to go on a Hell's Scouter last time in Butlins and they said no because I had shorts and t-shirts on. So here is the beach. It's not the best beach in Norfolk. In fact, the best beach in Norfolk is down here, but we're just coming up to the Wash Monster. These run throughout the day. They take you out to see the seals. They're pretty cool because they, they travel on wheels because the tide goes out pretty far and then it turns into a boat. Love the faces on them as well. The face drops down and then it opens up and that's how people get on and off. Pretty cool, don't you think? So one hour safari is about 18 pounds. Half an hour is about nine quid. It's definitely worth the experience. I would do this today, but the next one's not till five, so unfortunately that's a good few hours from now. 
So what's on the seafront? There's uh, the Sea Life Centre behind me, or the Sea Life Sanctuary. Crazy golf course behind the seat wall. Good place to get a coffee though. Nice to sit up there, get a suntan on the terrace. And one of the original candy floss and ice cream shops here in Hunstanton with the original signage from when I was a kid. There's a swimming pool just on the front as well. We're gonna head into the town and check out Britain's largest joke shop. I'll let you decide. You'll notice something on Hunstanton seafront that it doesn't have a pier, even though it does. And the, and the pier is literally just there. Does it take the accolade to have the shortest pier in the UK? Selling nothing but buckets and spades. So let's take a right and walk into the town just briefly. I think for a lot of people, what they enjoy about Hunstanton is it's, it's timeless, you know, things haven't changed much here. You know, you could have been here 20, 30 years ago and apart from some signage of some amusements and stuff like that, it's, it's still the same sunny honey as it always has been. So it used to have a rather famous market on here. I don't know whether it still actually happens. Do let us know in the comments. It's been here for years as well, this showboat. So kind of in the centre of Hunstanton, you've got this massive green that's all kind of up on a hill that people come and enjoy a picnic on, on a day out, overlooking the sea, which is quite nice. And there are plenty of fish and chip shops. I've had a nice cream tea in there before. The Sunset Wine Bar, just outside of the Princess Theatre. Because you do get a sunset, I'll explain why, here on the East Coast in a little bit. But I've got to head into Britain's largest joke shop. Wow, it is pretty big. I think they're getting ready for Halloween in here, most definitely. Naughty. Not really jokes. Yeah. Got a big collection of wigs. Maybe I'll get this for uh, for Gabby later. A fake brick. The only joke things I've found are in here. So what we got? A joke biscuit. Rearview spy glasses. Interesting. That's a cruel joke. A joke lotto ticket to say they've won some money. I think I've actually had one of these as a kid. The whole chewing gum thing, you pull it out and it snaps onto somebody's finger. I couldn't afford a present, so I made it for you myself. <laughs> Great. There's a lot of things here aimed at poo. Dodge the doo-doo. The ultimate fart kit. The Fart Launcher 3000? Smells like real farts. That's on sale as well, 15 quid. There's not many joke stuff for sale as I thought actually in there, but it's still pretty good. Especially if you need a wig, it's worth heading in there. Talking of popular fish and chip shops, this one seems to be always busy with queues outside the door, especially in the evening. So the town centre is pretty small and it's literally kind of just two roads, this one and another road behind it. Pretty small, but I guess everything you need, including loads of pots if you want to put some plants in them. There's a, lot, there's a lot of pots there. Pretty grand building on the seafront is the Town Hall, right next to the Golden Lion Hotel, which is a really lovely hotel. It does remind me of a church, especially the entrance as you go in. So obviously you've got the new and the old Hunstanton. We're in the new Hunstanton right now, and it was, all here thanks to Henry Lestrange who built this and a watering hole as well for visitors. It was thanks to this man this became a holiday destination. Not too many people actually having a, a picnic today. 
it's a nice day for it. One of the best beaches in Norfolk is up here. I'll show you that in a little bit. Also, the really nice seafront gardens. And it should be one of the shortest piers in the country. I think it is actually. Burnham on Sea is the shortest. Hunstanton with the peerless pier. It used to go out pretty far, but after a lot of uh, tragedies in the past, it was decided not to extend it anymore. And let's be honest, having a pier, still called a pier, that's not actually a pier is a bit odd because in theory it's just an amusement arcade isn't it you've got temp and bowling upstairs i'll go underneath the pier i'll show you what i mean and at the weekends you'll always find lots of motorbikes on this stretch of the seafront but yeah this is how short the pier is there's the start of it and there's the end of it surely it must be the second smallest pier in the uk right Maybe you'll be able to tell me in the comments. But compared to walking under other piers that I've walked under, it's a lot different. They never used to have an entrance under here either as well. This has been added uh, in the last few years, which was a good idea to be fair. Kind of lots of little kids rides. You can see where the pier would have stretched out. But there's nothing left of the old pier. So they don't really have beach huts in Hunstanton. It's more like a beach chalet built out of brick. It'd be interesting to see if these are more expensive or less expensive than the wooden ones. Sorry, can I just ask, do you own the chalet or do you rent it? No, we rent them. You rent okay. it. How much is it to rent? £700 pound a year. £700 pound a year? A year, and that includes you get a car bay as well. So you get free parking yes. and a chalet? Nice, thank you very much. So the first four up here apparently are daily rents, 40 quid a day. And with that, of course, you get a car park. A little upper deck of chalets here. Obviously they are basic inside, but they do have electricity. It's a pretty nice walk actually, all the way towards Old Hunstanton through the gardens. And they've won actually quite a few awards. And the plaques are here from 2005. It goes up all the way to, oh, only 2019, obviously before the pandemic hit. It's also the start of the Norfolk Coastal Path. If you wanted to be ambitious, you could do Cromer, 47 miles, or keep going towards Great Yarmouth, past Great Yarmouth, actually, Hopton, 84 miles. And it all starts here. You'll see the beach here starts to go a little bit weird. We'll discover more of that in just a moment. So at this end of the seafront, there's a crazy golf, place to get some ice cream, and also I think a, a big kids play area as well. So if you can come up here at sunset, definitely worth it at the lookout because this is where you get an amazing sunset and of course sunset on the east coast is pretty odd but as you may or may not know Hunstanton here in Norfolk actually faces out west and on a clear day it is a clear day and I don't know if the camera picks it up but you can actually see Skegness in Lincolnshire just over the wash there you can see the sea monster there just coming back from that sandbank where all the seals are. And this is where the beach, before it gets better, gets very weird. And the famous cliffs of Hunstanton, let's go and check it out. As you can see, Hunstanton Beach, it's not overly that great. I think what lets it down is the, the pieces of chalk that are littered along the beach. weird though it's like walking on another planet if you're into that kind of thing you can go rock pooling and if you're lucky you'll find some mussels and you can see why just further up the coast the beach is littered with all the chalk which has literally just come off the cliffs here 
Look at the layers there. You've got the layer of the clay into the chalk. Thousands of years worth of history on these cliffs. So a good 10, 15 minute walk from Unstanton, we get to Old Unstanton, which is really pretty and where you'll find the most amazing beach that begins the North Norfolk Coastal Path. And what's pretty cool is the old lighthouse here in Hunstanton is actually available to rent. I think that's on Airbnb. So if you've got the cash, you could, if you wanted to, come and stay in there. As you can see from the air, how the beach changes from the new Hunstanton towards the old Hunstanton. And obviously as the coast kind of swings round into East Anglia from the wash, the beach greatly improves. In fact, this is one of my most favorite beaches in the whole of East Anglia, from here up to Brancaster and beyond. As you can see, the beach is just beautiful. It's quite nice when you walk here on the start of the coastal path, you get glimpses of the sandbank. I think someone's staying in that right now. But if you want to get to this really beautiful beach and uh, really go exploring the North Norfolk coast, there's a car park just down here. Another Coast Guard lookout. Been beautifully preserved actually. That's available to rent too. What's amazing about this Coast Guard lookout, it was actually visited by King George V, Queen Elizabeth, Princess Elizabeth, and Princess Margaret too. So a lot of royalty have visited here as well, randomly. If you are coming up here by car, there's also a, a little cafe to get a drink, some chips. Just look at the view you get from up here. Maybe one summer I will do the whole of the North Norfolk Coastal Path. I once did it when I was about um, 15 years old with the school and it was um, one of the best experiences ever. The beaches are truly amazing in North Norfolk. They do remind me of the beaches in Wales. They're big, they're long, they're sandy. There is access to the beach down here as well. It's quite amazing how much definition there is in Hunstanton. You've got a beach like this and then that beautiful beach and the fun fair. There's actually loads here. Definitely worth coming to Hunstanton. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.